So I'm about 70 miles into my ride, decided to pull over and uh, give my legs and my butt a rest. Um, so a little explanation of uh, what these videos are and, and what I'm doing. Um, honestly, the, the world's crazy right now. Uh, I, I just had a thought that, a feeling I need to do what I can to put a little positive um, you know, vibes out there. About six and a half years ago, I found myself in a pretty dark place. Um, you know, it reminds me a lot of now, a lot of darkness going around and um, a lot of uncertainty. But I, I found myself in a, a place that I wasn't happy um, dealing with some, uh, some issues. Um, and long story short, I ended up uh, getting on my Harley and surprising a family that had recently lost their uh, young son. He was five years old at the time. His name was Keaton. Um, I went to their doorstep and surprised them with the teddy bear, with the stuffed animal. And it completely changed my life. It was nothing big. Um, but, but doing this was a huge turning point in my life. And it showed me, again, I've had other things that have showed me perspective, but this really helped me realize what's what's important and also the importance of giving, the importance of serving other people. I know I, I feel best when I'm doing that. Um, with what's going on right now, the uncertainty, a lot of darkness um, going around, I thought what better time for me to do something small because I think we all can do something small. It doesn't need to be some huge elaborate thing. And I decided I'm gonna start this series off. I've, for the last six and a half years I've been delivering teddy bears to people's doors on my on my motorcycle um, you know and I thought what a better time to start this by surprising my aunt Carol so I'm headed to Orangeville Utah it's about a probably about another 80 miles uh, just thought it kind of a cool place to pull over over on some train tracks here um, part of the uh, I guess part of the darkness that I was going through when I started these rides I was dealing, you know, my, my older brother had passed away in 2004 and it had been, at the time it had been about 10 years and, you know, 10 years later you should be over someone's death is what people think sometimes and and in a way I guess you are but there's always going to be a void. But there was some internal struggles that I was dealing with uh, spiritually um, that really shook me up and a lot of the, the root of that was caused from him. Uh, a couple years after he, or a year after he died, almost to the day, my family and I planned a charity ride on motorcycles called the Ride in Paradise. This is the, the shirt, still wearing it. Um, but we we raised some money for a children's charity. When I started doing these rides on my motorcycle, giving uh, or the teddy bear rides, giving them away to people, and I usually find a family that dealing with the death. Uh, I started calling these the Ride in Paradise. The RIP. I'll show you the little guy that we give away. That's uh, my Ride of Paradise logo. My buddy Kobe, the Shredder Strom, he owns a, a wrap shop, a sign shop called Synergy Graphics, and he wrapped that for me a couple years ago. Um, yeah, here's three of the little bears I'm going to deliver today. Teb. That's his name. We call him Teb. Teddy bear biker, teddy bear to bear. He's a, a teddy bear with a beard. All right, a couple miles out from uh, Orangeville, Emory High School. Uh, I remember coming out here when we were younger and watching my cousins. They were cheerleaders and Sean Bradley, an old basketball player, professional super tall guy, grew up here and I remember watching him play and they took the uh, state championship years ago. So, good memories coming back here. June 23rd. It's actually uh, would have been my brother Jason's tw uh, 43rd birthday today. It's one of the reasons why I decided to come out and surprise my aunt and uh, do a ride in paradise for her. Uh, he died when he's 27, so in a couple weeks on July 6th, it will have been uh, it would have been 16 years. One thing I always do when I drop off the teddy bear is write a, a personal note. So I just finished, sat down a little, found a little picnic area and sat down and wrote one to my Aunt Carol. 
Here's the elementary school where my uncle Tex worked at for many years. All throughout the town you can see things. He was a master uh, welder. And all throughout the town you can see things. Swing sets, uh, city ornaments, stuff all through Orangeville that, that he created and made. And a lot of times and he would donate it. So funny story. <laughs> I just, I like to, when I do these rides, I like to surprise people. Um, I didn't do very, I didn't plan very well this time. I just called Carol to see if she's here and I was gonna come and knock on our door. And turns out she is at her uh, daughter, Jen's house. And I planned on stopping by Jen's later today to drop off a bear to her as well. So looks like I'll, I'll, I'll catch Carol when I'm there. It's about an hour away from here. So anyway, it was a, it was a good ride. Um, I'm gonna walk you through the property. Um, Tons of memories growing up here. This used to be filled. We'd have four wheelers cruising through. It's a shop where Tex did a lot of his projects, welding. Add on to the house. And the ultimate, the swing set was so much fun growing up. All right, hopping back on the bike and uh, Gonna go meet my wife, gonna get some dinner, and then I'll stop by Jen's and Julie's later tonight and drop it off to them and to Texas daughters and find Carol there as well. And then Jill, their, uh, their other daughter lives in Kanab, which is about four hours from my house. I'm gonna try and get out there sometime. And then Byron, their son, my, my cousin, lives not too far from my house, so. So this is uh, Orangeville, Utah. Okay, so I'm out uh, here in Salem, Utah. Um, you know, I went out to my Aunt Carol's house in Orangeville earlier, and I ended up uh, meeting up with my wife, and we went and visited some friends in uh, Spanish Fork, not too far from here. So it's now at about 11.15 at night, and that's why it's dark. I'm gonna to have to do a little doorbell ditching. I'm gonna drop off the bear to, this is my cousin, uh, Jen's house, and Carol's staying here with her. So, here we are. I'll get you guys in on the, uh, the fun of the doorbell ditch and dropping the bears off. So, I lightly knocked on the door when I dropped it off and no one answered, so. <laughs> I'm gonna drive by. Uh, maybe this will bring him to the door. Pick off some neighbors. All right, it's 11:39. See ya. Okay, now I'm here in uh, Mapleton. It was about a 20-minute ride from Salem that I was just at. Super dark. It's uh, now past midnight, and I'm here at my cousin Julie's house. I don't think anyone's here. So I'm just gonna go drop it off at the porch. Um, not exactly how I was expecting today to turn out. He, um, I guess I should have followed up and made sure my Aunt Carol was home, but it was a, it was a good ride to her house nonetheless, even though she wasn't there. Um, yeah, put in about 300 miles today and delivered three bears. And on the last one, past midnight, gonna go home after this. And, to bed. All right, just got home. Bike back. Uh, it's 12:50. Long day, but it was uh, it was awesome. Good rides. Um. Anyway, this is uh this is what I do. It's called the Ride of Paradise. I've been doing it for a little bit. I uh, really enjoy it. Um, you know, like. Like I mentioned earlier, a lot of craziness going on um, in the world, and uh, I like to say, what's your teddy bear? And what that means is, what can you do to brighten someone's day, put a, put a smile on someone's face? Mine, I deliver teddy bears on a motorcycle. Random, yes, but it's what I do. I like to do it. All right, thanks for watching. Till next time, see ya.